Hello, I want to explain about backing up your Drupal 7 website. Ba making backups is really, really important and it really will save your skin when things go wrong. Sometimes you just do something, maybe just it's something as trivial as installing a different module and something goes wrong and um, your whole site seems to fall apart. Well, if you've got backups, you can easily restore back to the, the last point that you backed it up to make it just the same as it was the last time you backed it up no matter how badly you've messed things up so let's get stuck in what I want to explain is uh, how to install a, a module called backup and migrate if you want to install that that's really useful if you want to install um, a module called variable check sometimes when you install new modules you get a funny error message and I'll just see if I can show you the error right I don't know if you've ever seen one but you sometimes get this error offset at 74 of 75 bytes in variable uh, initialize at the, the line 749 um, but the important bit is the bit that you'll probably recognize is offset 74 of 75 bytes so it could be anything that it could be offset this offset that of bytes um, and then this line 749 um, and to fix that problem can be quite frustrating but there's an easy way to do it so that's why we're going to install it well that's, I've already installed it but that's why you you, you, you really would um, make good use of this variable check module it's a useful module to have then we're going to back up all the files and directories on your site using FTP I'm just going to show you how to do that because it takes a while um, and then we're going to back up the database using backup and migrate module so let's see where we should start I'll, I'll show you about the backup and migrate module first so to install a new module all you do is go to modules and then you want to click this link here that says install new module and then it depends which module you're looking for I've already installed I've got the backup and migrate one on this site but I'll show you what you do basically um, just right click this and open in a new tab where it says you can find modules and themes on the drupal.org website so this is the drupal.org website so let's pretend we wanted the backup and migrate one we're going to search and we'll refine our search just to modules just to make sure we get exactly what we're looking for and this is the one back up and migrate really well worth installing this module I think you don't have to do it there's many other ways to do this but this is a convenient and easy way some web hosts offer a simple one click um, backup and restore system and if you've got one of those that's great but not all web hosts offer one of those and um, so this is a good way to do it if your web host doesn't offer a, a, an easier alternative right once you've found the module page that you're looking for we, we want backup and migrate scroll down until you find the actual modules you can download now we're not going to download them we're going to install them directly from the internet so you don't want the zip file you want the tar gz so all we're going to do is right click that link where it says tar gz for the version we want don't get the one that's in pink they're developer versions and they're not ready yet they're, they're still in development so you want one that's got a green background look for tar gz or version 7 where you're using version 7 of drupal so tar gz right click it copy link location and then we can go back to our drupal site just paste it in here where it says install from url paste it in there and then click the install button now i'm not going to install it at the moment because i've already got it installed so obviously that's uh, i don't need to but that's how easy it is to install a new module if you've got drupal 7 if you've got older versions of drupal you can't do it so easy right what's next on our little list oh variable check i'll just explain to you what variable check is um, basically that you do get these error messages occasionally and what 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 happens sometimes when you update the database or whatever it um, it gets a bit confused and you've got all bits and bats of information lying around and so 
you see an error message something like this error at offset 74 of 75 bytes in variable initialize and it's line 749 and you're thinking oh no I'm going to find that how am I going to fix it well there's an easy way right so um, where did we get to oh there we go variable check we're going to install that right it's just a module you just do, do the same as you did with the other module click install module and then you can find modules on the drupal.org so you click that right click and click open in a new tab so that we can go there uh, and just search for it and then we'll click refine our search for modules that's what we want variable check do the same as we did before. Right click the tar.gz download link, uh, copy the link location, we're not going to open this, we're going to copy the link location which is just like the URL um, or the address of where it is. So copy link location, then all we have to do is just paste it in there and click the install button and it'll, Drupal will install it for us. Right, now I've actually got both of those uh, installed. So I'll just show you about this um, variable check. All you do, the, the, you will only see any results if you've got one of these error messages and this is only to, do, to fix the um, that particular type of error message. But if you do have that error message I mentioned, where are we, you know, this error offset uh, this just the example is 74 of 75 bytes uh, at line 749 but if you get an, an error message like that then this module can help you fix it and it will be listed there if you did have that type of module if you had that type of an error message that this module can fix it will be listed there and then all you do is uh, click delete and it deletes the, um, the it's a variable that's sort of got left behind and um, it saves you a lot of missing about. So let's get back to backing up our site. So all we need to do now, um, where are we going? Right, we'll go, we'll, we'll do back up and migrate to that. If you click configuration, and then there's a link here that says backup and migrate. Now, once you've installed the backup and migrate module, all you do you click that link and there's a button that says back up now so what we'll do just to show you that it works um, I'll quick look in my downloads get rid of any just get rid of that so it's so we can see what's going off right so what we've done we'll go from start to finish go to configuration we want to make a backup of the database so we're clicking configuration and we click back up and migrate back up now save it to your computer there we go it's just telling us that it's downloaded it right so we've downloaded the backup now will it work let's find out <laughs> so we'll delete the content um, this is a little website I made just to show you how it works now we've got three pages I'll show you the three pages and then you'll know we've, we've actually got some to delete now, these are three pages that I made click on any of the pages then uh, the page will open up so what we're going to do we're going to delete those pages and then reinstall them from the backups so if we delete the content so we're deleting all the content only three pages of content so we delete that yes we want to delete it right now let's see gone the contents gone there's none there so we want to re reinstall it from the backups that we made so all we do we go back to configuration back to the mi backup and migrate module now we want to restore our system from the backup that we've already made so click the restore button We've got to search on our computer to find the um, the file that we want to restore from, and that's in our backup folder. 
which is uh, down it's in the downloads folder so this is the see, see the mysql at the end there this is the one we down, downloaded so just click that open it and then restore now and it restores it for us just take it a few seconds you usually you you'll keep it in your backups down when it says where do you want to download the backup that you make um, usually it'll go into your backups folder or whatever you whatever you, you can choose where to put it but obviously if you um, if the downloads folder is a, a logical place then when you, you're looking again you'll you'll know where to look for it so there we go default database restored let's see if it worked uh, no pages oh the pages have come back let's see if it's worked there we go restore from the backups right now there's actually more to it than that that's the database that's how you um, back up the database but we also need to back up our um, files and folders so if you go to your if you log on with an FTP client to your web space all you need to log on like that to your, to your web space select everything the first time you back up it's highly it's really well worthwhile selecting everything then get a backup folder on your local computer this, this is um, on my desktop and I just made one uh, folder called backup and then all we need to do is drag it across so just pick what we want and then just literally drag them across or click download and it will download all the files and folders on your web space but once you've got a backup it really you do need a backup um, because if anything goes wrong all you need to do is instead of downloading them you just upload them back to your web space and your problems are solved so let's take another look at our little list this is what you need to do well that's what we've done basically um, we installed the backup and migrate module we installed variable check module you don't need to do that but I just think it's so useful I wanted to tell you about it um, then we backed up all our files and directories using FTP that's the, the actual files and folders from your web space and we backed our database up using the backup and migrate module well I hope you find that useful and please do back up your Drupal website it's um, you don't realize how important backing up is until one day something goes wrong and you're in a rush and kapow you, you, you maybe you know quite a lot of work gone down the drain so do give it a try and um, I'm going to make another web, uh, another one of these little videos now about um, I forgot what it's about to tell you the truth but it'll be something good so do pop back <laughs> thanks a lot bye